What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna be checking out this Truxedo hybrid tonneau cover, it's the Century. So it's gonna be, look like a soft cover, but actually be a hard cover. And we got it installed on this 2019 Ram 1500. I really like the low profile design. As you can see, it just fits right in there. It looks really nice. Looks like it's supposed to be there from the start. Let's check it out. I mentioned it's a hybrid style of tonneau cover. Just to explain that a little bit further, you look at the top, it's got that nice vinyl top like you would get with a soft cover, which is again, low profile, just looks nice. It looks like it's supposed to be on this truck. Then underneath would be the other part of the hybrid, which would be the hard cover, which is the aluminum plating that goes from front to back on there. So it's solid all the way across. You could set something up here if you need to set something down for a second. The other benefit would be it's not just a couple bars like some of the soft covers have, to where when it rains, the water's gonna pool in between those bars and push down that cover. You got that protection all the way across, so the water's just gonna stay here and not be any issue. The other good thing about that is, in combination with your locking tailgate, nobody's gonna be able to see in here or get in here and mess with any of your stuff. The other great thing about the tonneau cover is it's rolling, so let's go through the process right now. I'm gonna lower the tailgate, and underneath, you have right here, you're just gonna pull on that, and that unlocks it, and you can start rolling it up. You have the hook and loop on the side just to keep it nice and tight across the bed and keep it looking good. And as you roll it up, you can see that aluminum bottom side I was telling you about and how easy this is to do. Just gonna roll all the way towards the front. And gets the butt right there, and then it even has straps that you can run around. It goes to front, hooks into a loop just to keep it towards the front of your truck. You gonna run that one and then do the same one on the side near you. you. Got the hook here, just gonna run that through the loop and you can pull it tight over here at the buckle and that's just gonna hold it in place. And that's really nice, this rolling style I like because it's up here, it's not a canister that sits in your bed that takes up space, but also it's not a three panel design that you fold up and then takes up all your back window. This is still right there underneath your headrest, so it's not taking up any of that valuable mirror space. Something else I wanna show you is that it's really easy to take the tonneau cover out if you don't want it. Let's say you got a bigger load you're bringing, maybe some washer and dryers you wanna push towards the front of the truck. You just want this space, the small amount of space that this takes up. It's easy enough you just see this latch back here. You're gonna push up on this tab. Like that. And then we can slide this back. So then with both latches thrown, you just lift it up and off the bed and just leaves the rails on there. Now we're just gonna roll back into place, really easy. Make sure your tailgate's shut. Just push this down on top of it and now you can see the seal's gonna sit on top of your tailgate, just keeping it protected, not gonna let that water get in there. Just push it down both sides, you'll hear that click and you know you got it nice and tight. Also, it's really easy to install. It didn't take us that long. You just clamp the rails on the side, pretty much set this on top. Check out how we did it. Our first step is we're gonna clean off the front of our bed here. It's gonna spray it a little bit just so that the adhesive is gonna stick. There's not gonna be dirt in the way causing any, any issues. So let's go all the way down the other side. Make sure it's nice and cleaned off. You just wanna dry it. And once we're done that, I can grab the seal. Now the seal has a lip on it and you wanna make sure that it lines up with the end here. You don't want it to go over. So this is about what we're looking for here. Just like that. Wanna make sure it stays down on there and get it even with the edge. So just giving you that idea before we start to stick it in place. So with the seal in place, I just wanna show you how you wanna stick it on there. You want this lip facing the inside of your bed and right there lined up with the edge. So that's about what we're going for when I go to start peeling it and attaching it to the truck. Peel some of the backing off just like that. We're gonna aim for that edge. Got an all the way other end. And we can snip off any access that we have. It looks like we have just a little bit Gonna grab these, 
and cut it off. Our next step is to add the rails. So what we're gonna do is make sure they're facing this way. So you can see the strap's gonna to be towards the front of the truck. And we'll just set it down against here. Now it's really low profile. So you actually could use a second set of hands to hold it in place. My friend Zach's gonna step in, hold it there for me. And what you wanna do is make sure that it's not too far forward. So it's okay to kind of set the front foam piece against the truck bed, but you don't have to push it in too far. This is gonna help you when you go to close that tailgate. You want it centered in between those. So taking a look at it, it looks about right there. I think we're good. So while he holds it in place, I'm gonna take one of the clamps and attach it. So you're just gonna loosen it like this. It separates and we're gonna put it up and match those teeth here with this section. So it's gonna pull this against the top of the truck bed and hold it in place. So I think we want it right about here. And I'll start to get that hand tightened and come back with the ratchet and tighten it down just a little bit more. Don't fully tighten it just yet. We're gonna wait until we get them all installed to do that evenly. But we're just gonna do this just to keep this clamp here and help hold it up. That's a good right there. We'll move on to the middle and our next one. Now that we have three clamps, loosely installed we can come back and just tighten them down evenly again no reason to over tighten them because then this will kind of go uneven for you or like droop down a little bit just make sure you get them nice and tight so they don't move when you just move with your hand and then repeat that process on the other side that one seems good something else to note is that you make sure you put the clamps, one towards the back, one in the middle, one in the front. There's not a designated spot for it, but just look up underneath the bed, make sure there's nothing in the way there. When you're gonna put there, you can evenly space them out however you want just to hold this in place. We got the plastic wrap off of the cover, and what we're gonna do is make sure this part with the rubber flap is gonna go towards the front of your truck. It's gonna sit on that metal part with the seal we put on there earlier. And then right here, if you look, this part's gonna line up with that circular, hole in the front of your rails you're going to line that up and set that down on there that way you can slide this over and lock it into place so i got the extra set of hands zach's going to help me again we're just going to lift it up and walk it to the front now we're going to come over here and slide this latch over we're going to slide this over the rails we just installed so you're going to want to kind of pull down on this and push up on the rail on the side just to help it get over there real quick. I'm gonna try and keep my hand out of the way so you can see, I'll at least get it started. You see, I just pushed up on that a little bit. You can see how it's already started, so then we can just push it over the rest of the way. And we're gonna do that on both sides. With those in place, we can roll out the cover. So we're just gonna to start to do it here. And they suggest that you don't do it all the way just yet. We're gonna stop right about here, right before the end to shut the tailgate and then go the rest of the way. latch into place and it's good some things i wanted to point out here that was towards the end is the reason we closed the tailgate first was to get this seal to go on top of that just so it was ready when we brought this back down it would sit on top of there and seal that properly and that might not work with every truck you might have to close it up afterwards just see how it works with yours now the other thing is you're going to hear a click when you push down on it that means it's latched in place so it's already so low profile, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can feel and hear that click on both ends when you push it down. Really is that simple to get it installed. It didn't take us any time at all. I really like the low profile look to it. It looks nice on this truck and you know, no one can see in what you got in the bed and just keeps that all protected, keeps it safe and sound. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.